All right, that's right. It's time for our tropical update. Glad you have a second here to check in with us on Fox Local. And don't forget our tropical updates also available on YouTube. I know that's sometimes an easier way for folks to get, especially uh, if you happen to be out of the country, maybe in the Caribbean. And I know we've got a lot of viewers that check in with us who are in the Caribbean using YouTube. And these are going to be the folks who definitely are going to be concerned with what's brewing right now in the tropics. The Atlantic is quiet. The Gulf is quiet. It, but over in the western corner of the Caribbean, we've got a tropical wave that we've been watching for a while. The National Hurricane Center has been a watching this for a while, and they're now been identifying this as Invest 98L. So Invest 98L is a tropical wave that's been happening uh, for the last couple of days. Uh, we've been keeping an eye on it quite closely, getting a chance to run some of those computer models and everything, and we're getting a little better sense of what's going to happen because it's getting into where really now we're expecting that formation to take place. These conditions uh, to the west and out in the Atlantic just haven't been quite right. But as we're getting now into the more of the central portions of the Caribbean, you can see within the next seven days, 90% chance that this is going to become a tropical cyclone. So pretty high expectations that this would definitely be our next named storm, even most likely maybe even happening within the next 24 to 48 hours, as a matter of fact. So when we take a look at some of the water temperatures, that's going to be something that helps it is the fact that these water temperatures are very warm, mid to maybe even some upper 80s that are sort of tucked in there. The winds are going to be more cooperative as far as formation is concerned, and that's certainly going to be something that we're watching as we see this tropical wave get itself better organized. The Hurricane Center has definitely been looking for that closed, low, Low pressure system at the surface. That's one of those key components that has to be there in order to be a tropical cyclone. And our computer modeling here, not even really picking up on that yet either, but certainly seeing some of the rain and the storms that are going with that. And as we move through time, you'll notice these that low pressure starts to get much better organized. At some point, it keeps that westerly track, and then it's going to start making more of a northerly turn somewhat. Still some questions as far as exactly when that might happen and what kind of a system we're talking about, but we're looking at Thursday right now here on our GFS, our American model, and that's going to take it up towards the island of Hispaniola, and that's going to cross and then back into the Atlantic, and then it's going to kind of hang around out here a little bit. I think it's going to lose some of its steering, and it's not going to know exactly which way it wants to go, and that's going to create some problems for the folks over into the Bahamas and also over into uh, the other islands in the Caribbean, but eventually it gets a little bit more movement to it. It starts pushing it a little bit more out into the Atlantic and then possibly even increasing in strength once again. So I think this system is actually going to be with us for a while as long as it can kind of handle dealing with the, the land. You know, once a tropical system really starts to interact with land somewhat, it kind of runs into a bit of a problem or two here or there. So just a reminder, we've got all the way through November officially on hurricane season. Season, and we'll look for uh, some more activity, but it will start dropping off looking at the history books. Again, this is historically just tracking what has happened, and we've noticed that we've definitely been keeping active into the later October time period in recent years, but we would expect still to start seeing a lot less activity. And I kept referring to this as Invest 98L. That is what it's being referred to right now. Once it becomes a tropical cyclone officially, it could be a depression or I think maybe even jump right to tropical storm status. And in that case, it'll be given the name Melissa. So Melissa would be the name that then keeps for its entire the rest of its existence. And it does look like, as I mentioned, Melissa would want to stay around for a while, hopefully just kind of keeping out into the Atlantic and really not causing us a whole lot of problems. So if you're checking in with us on YouTube, I know a lot of people are on Fox Local, but if you're one of our folks who are watching this on YouTube, leave me a comment there in the comment section and kind of let me know where you are. Are you in the Caribbean? Are you checking in with us? Always fun to hear from you. That would be great. Uh, otherwise, that'll wrap it up for our tropical update today. Of course, remember, we're here every day of hurricane season to bring you the latest on what's happening in the tropics.